Hi, it's Julius. Welcome back to Tech UG Lock Hall. If you're still new here, please make it a must to subscribe. So today, Samsung will finally match Apple with the Galaxy S20 Ultra Build materials. By choosing not to follow up on last year's Galaxy S10e with a flat screen and affordable member of the first approaching Galaxy S20 family, Samsung risks making it even harder for consumers to distinguish between three exceedingly similar high-end phones. But the regular S20 is expected to sport a significantly smaller curved display than the S20 Plus and S20 Ultra giants, the latter of which will differ from the former plus-sized model in many key ways and areas. We're talking everything from battery capacity to camera resolution, storage space, and according to a new rumor started by Max Vainback on Twitter, a small but very important difference is to be expected in the build quality department as well. Let's hope Samsung delivers the goods this time around. Some of the company's hardcore fans may still cring at the memory of a marketing mishap that no one ever tried to justify or explain in any way. Somehow Samsung was initially under the impression that Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus combined stainless steel and, and glass materials to minimize bezel, a publicity claim made in a proportional video shortly after the two high-enders were unveiled back in August and repeated on the company's website. That was obviously not the case, and Samsung quickly edited its advertising copy, replacing high polish stainless steel with high polish metal. Steel is not technically a metal, but an alloy of iron and carbon, while stainless steel is rarely used on smartphones. Instead, most handset manufacturers nowadays combine glass with aluminium which is a metal often used in its own combination with various other metals, creating pretty strong alloys. But aluminium alloys cut much robustness and resistance to corrosions of stainless steel, which is why we are very excited to hear Samsung might finally be able to make the jump to a tougher and yes, prettier exterior for its ultra high-end devices. Of course, the Galaxy S20 Ultra will follow in the footsteps of a number of other mobile devices rocking a super premium stainless steel frame, including the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max, the XS and X Max, the iPhone X, LG V10, Nokia 8, Sirocco, and even the ancient iPhone 4. Now, when we look at the rumored differences between the Galaxy S20 Ultra versus the Galaxy S20 Plus. Because stainless steel is heavier than aluminium, the S20 Ultra is tipped to weigh in at 221 grams against 188 grams for the S20 Plus, 175 grams for the S10 Plus, and 196 grams for the Note 10 Plus. But if you also consider the massive 6.9 inch display of the S20 Ultra compared to the 6.7 inch S20 Plus and its 5000 milliamps per hour battery, 4500 milliamps per hour capacity for the S20 Plus cell, the number almost starts to feel small especially when the 6.5 inch iPhone 11 Pro Max tips the scales at 226 grams in a similar stainless steel and glass combo. Now here's, here are more of the differences between the Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G and the Galaxy S20 Plus. The Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G will come with a 120 Hz Infinity O Dynamic AMOLED display, Dolby Atmos Stereo Speaker by AKG, whereas on the other side, 
the Galaxy S20 Plus will come with a 120 Hz Infinity O Dynamic AMOLED display, Dolby Atmos stereo speaker. The Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G will also will come with a 6.9 inch 3200 by 1440p 20 to 9 ratio. The Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G will be of the size 6.9 inch, whereas the Galaxy S20 Plus will be 6.7 inch. The Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G will weigh a mass of 221 grams, whereas the Galaxy S20 Ultra will be of the mass 188 grams. The S20 Ultra 5G will come with a Exynos 99. 997nm chipset whereas the s20 plus will come with a exynos 997n chipset when we look at the storage galaxy s20 ultra 5g shall have 512 gb storage with a micro sd card up to one terabyte and the Galaxy S20 Plus will have 128 GB storage with a micro SD card up to 1 terabyte. When we look at the cameras, the S20 Ultra will have 108 megapixel main wide, 48 megapixel telephoto, and 12 megapixel ultra wide, and the time of flight back cameras. S20 Plus will have a 12 megapixel main wide, 64 megapixel telephoto, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a time of flight back cameras. 40 megapixel wide front camera for the Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G, and 10 megapixel front camera for the S20 Plus. Coming to the batteries, the Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G will come with a 5 thousand milliamps battery whereas the s20 plus will come with a 4500 milliamps battery now both phones come with ip68 water resistance and android 10.0 with one ui 2.0 still the main thing expected to make the galaxy s20 ultra stand out from its siblings is an absolutely bonkers rear facing camera system comprised of a 108 megapixel main shooter a 48 megapixel telephoto sensor a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and a pair of time of flight sensors enabling neat 3d effects and advanced ar experiences the 40 megapixel single selfie snapper of the s20 ultra also sounds pretty exciting compared to the same old 10 megapixel front facing camera on the other two s20 variants as on s10 series devices what we don't know just yet is whether or not samsung also has a ceramic version of any of its S20 series phones in the pipeline. The S10 Plus, remember, comes in ceramic black and ceramic white flavors in addition to white, black, blue and pink glass models but two special editions with two special build materials is probably a little too much to ask for just one flagship generation. Now thanks for watching this video, if you've liked it, hit the like button and leave the comment in the comment section below. Until next time, see you.